Jen. How are you doing today? Thumbs up. Good deal. Good. You don't even have to mute yourself if you don't want. Yeah, because I'm like the only one. You are the only one here today. And that's okay. Um, maybe Sunday mornings are a rough time. I thought maybe it would work, but we'll have to see. Maybe we'll have to figure out a different time and see if that works for other people too. But yeah, I am glad you are here. And so the first thing that I want to do is I just want to find out, it's been a little while since we've connected. What are some highs and lows that you might have? Do you have any highs or lows? For what? Like Just in life. So maybe a high would be you like that, well, the sun is shining. But if the sun was shining, you could say. Well, I like the sun my shining. high for the sun is like, it helps us have like nice crops and nice sunlight. But then sometimes it's so hot, you just want the sun to go away. <laughs> yeah. Is there anything that would be a low that you're maybe not so excited about? Mm, I'm not totally sure. I've, I'm having a and that's really okay. exciting stuff. I'm like, yeah, that's okay. It's, it's different for everybody. Sometimes people say they had lots of homework and that was a low. Oh, I don't like homework. <laughs> you don't like homework? No. That, that's yeah. not your thing. <laughs> All right. So I know you just, you told me you were at your grandma's house, right? Yeah. So you probably can't really do this next thing, which is, a, which is fine. But if you were going to think of something that you have that you would I, tell us about or show us. I'll tell you about something, you tell us but about I cannot something that you have you. that you would tell us about. Well, I have this ginormous stuffed animal. Okay, what kind it's of stuffed animal is it? probably bigger than you. What is it? It's probably bigger than you. Is it really? Wow. Yeah, his name's Henry. His name is Henry. Is it new? Um, not really. Okay. Kind of. <laughs> You've had it for a while, but not not new, new? Yeah, like when I was like eight or seven, okay. and I'm nine right now. Okay, so a couple years ago. Yeah. So what is What kind of animal is it? Uh, a dog. A dog, and it's a big dog named Henry. That's kind of fun. Yeah. Fun. My yeah. aunt Angie, that's my yeah. mom's sister. Um, my mom decided the name because she had a stuffed animal named Henry, but it wasn't as big, but yeah. Okay. Yep. So it was just a little bit different. So that, that is your, that is something that you really like, your stuffed animal. Yeah. Yeah. That's and, cool. um, my three, my two Xboxes, I used Whoa. to have three. And I have a switch, a phone. My brother has a phone. My mom has a phone. I'm on her iPad right now. Yeah. My dad has a phone. Oh my goodness. We are, we are electronic family. You are, and you're connected, aren't you? All those different things. That's great. That's great. And I'm happy that I have friends on Xbox. Like some. Um, of the people that I have friends on Xbox, um, like, well, are in my class. Okay. Do if they have Xboxes, and so my dad makes sure makes sure once in a while that all my friends on my friend list I know. Otherwise, yeah. if I don't know them, I have to put them off from my friends list. Yeah, yeah, we want you to be safe, don't we? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. We want you to be safe. And that's, that's probably a good thing that your dad checks that out once in a while. So we have been, hey, <laughs> we have been talking about baby Moses. You Have you done anything with baby Moses yet? Um, with your spark stuff or not yet? Like, oh. This like yeah yeah baby Moses baby Moses yeah 
Yeah, yeah this week it's you get to do some weaving and things like that with your. I wife. didn't read it yet, but you yeah, didn't but... read it yet. That's okay. That's okay. So this week you're gonna maybe get a chance to read the story, and actually I'm gonna read the story to you in just a couple minutes. But um, so we went from baby Jesus when we celebrated Christmas. And then we went back to the Old Testament and we're talking about Moses. And Moses is kind of a big deal in the Bible because he, we hear about him when he's a baby all the way to when he's an adult. So there's a lot that happens with Moses. And oh. so we start out with him as a baby. And so I'm going to read, read, like I said, you the story. And this is the same story that's in your Spark Story Bible. It's worded a little differently, but it is the story of baby Moses. And I know it's probably hard for you. I see it pretty good. Okay. It's kind of different using a computer than it is. Let me get out of sunlight. Yeah. Yeah. You're good. All right. So baby Moses in a basket. So here we go. This is Miriam. She has a secret. This is her brother, Aaron. He has a secret too. Can you guess their secret? Um, Any idea? Pots of something. Oh, no. like maybe, yeah, the pictures are maybe giving you some ideas. Here we go. Let's read. Miriam and Aaron have a baby brother. That is their secret. When their baby brother was born, their mother and dad said, God has given us a beautiful baby boy. We must keep him a secret. The ruler of Egypt named Pharaoh wants to kill all the little Hebrew boy baby boys. That's kind of a scary secret, isn't it? Uh, yes. Miriam and Aaron were very happy with their baby brother. They liked to play with him, sing to him, and smile at him, but they had to be very quiet. They did not want Pharaoh's soldiers to find their baby brother. One day, their mother said, children, I'm sorry, but we cannot hide our little baby any longer. Miriam and Aaron started to cry. Mother, you don't mean we have to give our brother to the mean Pharaoh. No, said mother. God has given me a plan. God will help us take care of our baby, but I need your help. Quietly, mother told them what to do, and Miriam and Aaron tiptoed to obey. Soon mother had a little basket made. It will float on water, she said. It will keep our baby safe. The basket was just the right size for their little brother. Have you heard this story before? Maybe. Carefully, mother wrapped their little brother in a blanket and laid him in the basket. Miriam, she said, come with me. Miriam and mother walked down to the Nile River. Very quietly and oh, so carefully, mother put the basket in the water. Miriam, she whispered, Watch your little brother. If anything happens to him, come and tell me just as fast as you can. Can you imagine the putting the baby in the water? Miriam hid in the tall grass. She watched the little basket floating in the water. The water was very gentle. Dear God, she whispered, please help me to keep my little brother safe. As Miriam stood watching, Pharaoh's daughter, the princess, came down to take a bath in the river. The princess had many servants with her. What is that little basket in the water? She asked. Go, bring it to me. One of the princess's servants went into the water and picked up the basket. The princess opened the little basket and Miriam's baby brother started to cry. Oh, what a pretty baby, the princess said. It is one of the Hebrew children. My father will not hurt this baby. I will love him. He will be my son. Miriam quickly left her hiding place and ran to get to the princess. Would you like for me to go get someone to take care of the baby for you? She asked. Yes, said the princess. Miriam ran home. Mother, mother, come quick. The princess has found our baby. She needs someone to care for him. Miriam and her mother hurried to the water. The princess said, please take care of this child for me. I will pay you well. Miriam and her mother and the baby went back home. Thank you, God, mother prayed, for taking care of our little baby boy. 
Miriam and Aaron did not have to keep their baby a secret any longer. They could play with him, sing to him, and smile at him. They could giggle and laugh out loud. Pharaoh could never hurt their baby brother. God would always take care of him. One day, mother took her little boy back to the princess. From then on, Miriam and Aaron's little brother lived in the palace with the princess. The princess was happy to have a little boy. And do you know what she named her little boy? <sighs> oh, Moses. I know this. Moses. Moses was what she named him. So that's kind of a interesting story that there's, there's all this stuff happening and God made a plan. God had a plan for this Moses. And it involved the mom and the sister and the princess and the Pharaoh, everybody. And so they thought what was their little brother was going to be killed. And it ended up being where he was just going to be fine because God made a way and then told the mom how to take care of the baby, right? And so they had this basket. So like I was saying earlier in your art project today, you're going to do some weaving. It's not probably you won't want to put the paper in the water because it's probably not going to work. But yeah. <laughs> And we're, there is some weaving involved in it. You get to do some of that. And then um, next week when it's cooking, which I know a lot of you like the cooking rotation. Oh, yeah, I love um, cooking. You're going to talk about some things that float and sink. So kind of like with the basket in the water, it was floating. It didn't sink, but you're going to have a little bit of a snack and you're going to have some things that float and sink. So it's kind of a fun one. I've been working on it to get it ready for you guys for this next week. So that's kind of a fun one too. Well, I am really glad you came. Oh, I like your sweatshirt. You got the church sweatshirt on, Aiden? Perfect. Hey. You're all ready for Spark with your shirt. That's great. I know. <laughs> all right, I'm gonna pray and then I'll send you off on your day, okay? So here we go. Dear God, thank you so much for today. Thank you for um, the Copal family for popping in today and visiting with us and um, being with us as we learned a little bit more about you having a plan for each one of us, even a baby that you had a plan for. Um, be with us this week and the next and the upcoming weeks as we keep learning more about you. In your name I pray. Amen. All right, kiddo, have a great day and thank you for popping on today. And we'll see you next time, okay? Hi, Shannon. Thanks. Hi. Thank you. Have a good day. <laughs> you too.